In the previous video, we saw that the constant term V0 is actually equal to the determinant of minus A. The A is where A is your uh, original matrix. Now, I just want to reaffirm it by using a 3 by 3 example. So, what we are looking at is lambda I minus A equals to, what will that equal to? That will equal to lambda minus a11 minus a12 minus a13 in case of 3 by 3 minus a21 lambda minus a22 minus a23 minus a31 minus a32 lambda minus a33 okay Okay, so that's what we will get. This is the determinant that we are talking about. Okay, so now this determinant, if I expand it, what will it look like? It will look like lambda minus A11, expanding it to using the first row, lambda minus A22 minus A23 minus a32 minus a33 okay minus of minus a12 makes it plus a12 minus a21 minus a23 minus a31 minus a33 oh there will be a lambda here so lambda minus a33 and then minus a13 into the determinant of minus a21 lambda minus a22 minus a31 minus a32 okay so what we can do is we can expand each term expanding each term individually let's just do that so we will have when you have lambda minus a11 into the determinant lambda minus a22 minus a23 minus a32 lambda minus a33 this will be lambda minus a11 into lambda minus a22 into lambda minus a33 minus of a32 into a23 okay so that's what we will get here which essentially if I take the complete product what will it be let us just open it up so we will have lambda square minus minus a33 plus a22 lambda plus a22 a33 minus a32 a23 okay if i completely multiply what will we get we will get lambda cube minus lambda square terms are a11 plus a22 plus a33 and your lambda terms are a11 a33 plus a11 a22 minus a32 oh, I have another term plus a22 a33 minus a32 and a23 and plus you will have the constant term which is minus minus a11 a22 a33 plus a11 a23 
and a three two okay so that's the first that's the expansion of the first term and then the second term would be this should be a little simpler because i don't have that many lambdas here as i said previously the power of lambda will keep on diminishing that's because the inclusion of lambda will diminish lambda will be at its highest power in case you have a lambda term outside here also right so this will equal to a12 into minus lambda a21 plus a21 a33 minus a31 a23 so this essentially will give us if you completely expand multiply throughout with the a12 you will have minus lambda a12 into a21 plus a12 into a21 into a33 minus a12 a31 into a23 okay so that's the second term similarly in the similar manner we can find the third expanding term as well which will be minus a21 minus a21 minus a21 lambda minus a22 minus a31 minus a32 okay and this will essentially be minus a13 a21 into a32 minus a31 lambda plus a22 into a31 okay and when you completely multiply this will be a13 a31 lambda minus a13 a21 a32 <coughs> minus a13 a22 a31 now these are the three separated terms so what we need to find out is lambda i minus a which will be sum of all these three expansions so the sum of all three expansions will be lambda q minus lambda square we have a11 plus a22 plus a33 then you have your lambda terms lambda terms are a11 a33 plus a11 a22 plus a22 a33 minus a23 a32 and then you have your constant terms also then you have the second from the second term you will have first let me write down the constant terms of this one and then i'll write down the second term so a33 then you have plus a11 a23 a32 and that was the biggest one and then you have minus lambda a12 a21 plus a12 a21 a33 plus minus it you have a minus here minus a12 a23 a31 and then you have the final term a13 a21 a32 minus lambda a13 a31 plus a13 a22 a31 now the point is point is that when you assimilate all the constant terms all the constant terms will come out to be as minus a11 a22 a33 plus a11 a23 and a32 plus a12 a21 a33 minus 
a1 2 a2 3 a3 1 minus a3 1 a2 1 a3 2 plus a1 3 a2 2 and a3 1 and the point is that this constant term is nothing else but the determinant of minus a where a is your original matrix a is your original square matrix minus of that matrix and the determinant of that and that's what is your constant term even in the 3 by 3 case and this holds true for any case for that matter